This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. So like you. I'm already disturbed. What's your point? Oh. Well, that didn't work out the way I hoped. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? My name, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and... The Pink Fox. Pink Fox with me again. And welcome, well, let's be honest, all of you know what this is at this point. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Plus. <laughs> yeah. Individuals plus. suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a positive experience playing this game. I'm okay, sure. my anxiety has gotten a lot better over the time, over the years. And so she has questions. anxiety. I literally said and depression. To the, I literally said to her multiple times, are you sure you want to do this before we did this? So... Yes. You're welcome to walk away at any point if you need to. Okay? No, do not contain spoilers. Would you like to review Let's these? Let's make it no. dark. Let's... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she's seen my darkest side, or at least the potential of it. Yes, we agree. Let's go. You might want to move to the right a little bit. Bottom up. I don't even know what that sound was. This game is not suitable for children who are easily disturbed. Should we turn it up a bit? We can't because if it turns up for us, it'll turn up for them. And at that point, they won't hear us. Okay, fair. That's the problem. I don't like OBS for that reason. Because that's us right there. The webcam mic thing. Anyway, new game. Please enter your name. Only use letters, hyphens, and apostrophe, okay? Dave and the Pink Fox. One name, not two. Pink Fox. That's two words. But okay, I'll see if I can make it work. Pink. Dash Fox. <laughs> Pink minus Fox equals... Eh... Uh, Orange? I don't know. Dash nostalgic Dave. Yeah, we'll just go pink fox. Okay. Let's go. Alright. Hey. Oh boy. I see an annoying. That's, I'll read these. Okay. If it's no quotes and it doesn't say pink fox, I'll read it. But otherwise, you can read the rest of them. And she's get, she gets very creative with these. Mm -hmm. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. <laughs> yes, like that. <laughs> like that. That that's, that's prime example right there. Good job. <laughs> I'm worried now. <laughs> Don't be. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together, or on days like this, I can read. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. I would get tired of waiting up. But... If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Whoa! Whoa. I'm, I'm a dick to Sayori. <laughs> However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. I mean, I guess that's that's the most oh, melodramatic <laughs> sigh I've ever heard, but sure. I overslept again! But I caught you the same... Well, yep, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, this one's me. Nope, that's me. Oh. Remember I said all but Pink Fox. Okay. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. <laughs> ignoring me! What happens? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not no ignoring. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna ignore. That's mean, Pink Fox. I can only imagine some. I can only imagine the person just like that's me. <laughs> you're a mean person. Mwah. How dare you do mean things to me? <laughs> just like, you're a mean, kiss. <laughs> well, 
if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine! <laughs> but you did wait for me after all. Mm -hmm. Apparently. I guess you don't have it in to be mean if, even if you want to. Pink Fox IRL knows that's not true about me. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> what could- Whoa! Okay. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. <coughs> By the way, Pink Fox, have you decided on a club to join yet? Can it not be the literature club since I know exactly what happens and I don't like it? Uh, a club? I told. Oh wait, that's you. I, I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. Yeah, that exactly. I haven't been looking either. Okay, Sayori is being very pushy. You told me you'll join a club this year. Very, very pushy. <laughs> did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I was worried that you wouldn't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Hey, I already. BS, I already took college. So did I. Same college, by the way. Yep. We had no idea. <laughs> Nope, we never even noticed each other in the hallways. Which sounds bad, but it really isn't. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Every time you look at me, I'm always expecting you to just go, mm -hmm. but that's not Sayori, that's someone else and we know who. Me? Well, yes, but that's not what I mean. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a me in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Ah, uh, bitch! I'm already in need. Like, oh my gosh. They're just totally fab nowadays. You have no idea. You trust me, right? Not if you're going to say stuff like that. Don't make me keep worrying about you. I guess I can't have control over that one, though. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Because God forbid we can't go without her being happy. Actually, I might take that back. No promises, though. Because he can't go without me being happy. That, but there's another reason. A reason you have not seen yet. We played a little bit of this game, but... She hasn't seen the bad. Let's just put it that way. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? <sighs> Fine. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Pink Fox is probably more excited than Sayori is, let's be honest. Even though Sayori, let's be honest, is probably a bit too excited over this. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind, at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. That sounds like someone else I know. Who? Don't you dare say it's me. <laughs> oh, man. Well, then I have no answer. <laughs> you know what? You're mean. And no kiss after saying that now. <laughs> I'll get some later. Okay. Well, 
All right then. I think Pink Fox is mad at me. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. I don't think I was talking to you when I said that, but uh... they didn't know that either. Ow! <laughs> the table bit me. Um, karma is a butt. <sighs> don't you mean karma is a biatch? Karma's a beach. Don't you know? I oh, like you guys know who's talking. I don't hear anything. Okay, I admit I probably deserved that one. Although karma is a beach, it's like I don't know for some reason I've been the beach I went to. It's just like people kept telling me it's karma beach just because people get bad results off of it. I do not over exaggerate things in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo moment. I know you don't. Someone else does. Not me. Someone who shall not be named. The mysterious unknown. Well, let's be honest. The mysterious unknown actually does over exaggerate things a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, the mysterious unknown. I feel like it exaggerates things more than anyone else. Anyway, the school day is as ordinary as ever. And it's over before I know because it. Because he was sleeping. I feel like the mysterious unknown is always asleep. Like, you wake up and you're like, what's it going to be like outside today? Oh, gosh! That's a mix of snow and rain. How did it happen? Where's the mysterious unknown? <laughs> they anyway. took an umbrella to Mary Poppins land. Well, now I need supercalifragilisticexpialidocious to come back, otherwise I'm screwed. <laughs> the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my, up my things... I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Hi, Miss Clueless. Sayori. Don't get... Don't mix it up in your head. I'm talking about Sayori. I know. <laughs> you, you, are you fully... I made into that the, face are you, are you you're like, talking to Sayori like that. Are you like fully in doubt into the character where it's like Sayori's come to life and... <gasps> how dare you? Yeah, how dare you call me clueless, you mean mother flipper? Sayori. You might as well swear if you want in this because they actually do it later on. Except Sayori doesn't, other characters do. Anyway, Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Ah, yeah, great. She's spying on me again. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Well. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Well then. I, I, I don't know how I feel about this. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know how to feel about this. Um. You don't. Oh, that's you. You, you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Whoa. My mind went there. This game is not suitable for kids. Gee, I wonder why. Well, that's not the reason. Okay. I did, by the way, for those who didn't notice, yes, I did turn up the volume on our mic a little bit because of what voice she's giving her is a bit soft toned, so. Just so you guys could hear it over the music stuff. Anyway, it's only for this game, though. No what? Well, that you could come by my club. I'm scared. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I am going to your club. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what she does. Mini. Oh, now you're being loud. Okay, time to move the volume back <laughs> down again. 
And we're back to square one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. You know, in case the title of the video don't give it away. Now that... Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure the only reason she did it was because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. It actually is. I've done that before. <laughs> Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Makes sense. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. See ya! Come on, please! Now that sounds more like Sayori's character. Kind of like a whiner. <laughs> Why do you care so much anyway? Well... Plus that airy voice, that's another character. You know who I'm thinking of. She's the airhead. She's the airhead, yes. Good job. I, we got past that part, at least. She has at least seen she all the girls. She has the airhead of the... She has the airheaded voice. I mean, she's an airhead, yeah, but... It actually, the voice kind of actually has to be heard. I know. I mean, come I on. I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring a new uh, member. Well, never mind. That, there you go. That works. And Monsky made me cupcakes and everything. Wait a minute. She just made them for you? Blasphemy! <laughs> I'm not going in. <laughs> well, she made them for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you do that so much better than I did when I first did a playthrough of this, which y'all won't find on the channel no more. Don't make promises you can't keep. I don't know how many times I've said that, IRL. <laughs> Not to you. Yeah, damn straight. This is just overall. I don't think I've ever said that once to you, actually. Have I? Better not. If I have, I don't remember. Anyway, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. <laughs> Hence the airhead voice. Yeah. Or is she so cunning as to have planned all this out? How about all the above? I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Yay! What? Not too much excitement. <laughs> You'll I'm find out why. Promises. I, I'll, you'll find out why later. <laughs> oh boy, should I be worried? Yes, <laughs> that's an automatic yes for me. And thus, today marks the day I sold my cell for a cupcake. You sold your soul. I you sold your soul. Sold. You said sold. <laughs> I was really hoping you would notice that. <laughs> Damn it! I sold my soul for a cupcake. It's in a prison cell. Leave it alone. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. That's so dainty, I love it. I hope the music isn't too loud. If it is, sorry, but you should still be able to hear her voice over that. Fingers crossed, because I'm looking at the music compared to that and... Eh, it looks like it should work. I told you, don't call me a new member! Eh? I glance around the room. Alright, have fun with your sophisticated voice. Is this voice. one the, the sophisticated this, this is the sophisticated one. one? Yes, this is okay. the sophisticated one. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure Okay, no one's going to be able to hear that. <laughs> Literature Club, it's a pleasure meeting you. Uh, 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 I, 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 okay. Oh, for the love of Pete. <gasps> Sayori always says nice things about you. Wrong, wrong character. I know. Wrong, wrong character. I know. <laughs> oh, no, no, okay. Oh my 
my gosh. Okay, we're balancing things out. This sucks. Okay, try again. Seriously, you brown boy? <laughs> Cody, he's like, oh my god. <laughs> Way to kill the atmosphere. I wonder if she actually is like that. She's like, oh my god, Cody. <laughs> oh, no. Now this one. Okay, have fun. I know you're gonna have fun with this one. Happy pass. What a nice surprise. Okay, this one definitely needs the voice. Of, ah! Okay. What a nice surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Welcome to the club. This is why I don't trust Monica. <laughs> I do not trust Monica! All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Incredibly cute in my mind just equals, for the most part, bad. Until, you know, you find a good one. Oh, I think you love it. What are you looking at? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Natsuki. Jeez. <laughs> If you want to say something, say it. <gasps> you idiot. So sorry. Natsuki. Okay, at this point, we might as well just read with our own voices. It's going to be very hard to keep up with all this. Okay. Fair. But you get to be the girls, I get to be the one dumbass kid who got himself involved. <laughs> okay, fair. That one you can keep doing, though. I like that. <laughs> okay. Let's just call them. They're all annoying bitches. <laughs> okay, so do the airhead voice for her and then just... I guess I'll do the sophisticated in the airhead. No, you I'll do, do, I'll I, do, I, I do the what? airhead in her. And her. And the other one. Okay, so we're, so we're still going by original yeah. plan. Okay. You can do the voices, just do them a little bit louder, I guess. Her small figure may... I didn't read that last one, did I? No. Ooh! <laughs> Wait, what's the button to... Uh-oh. History? There we go. Okay. Got it. Girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure... Her small figure? <laughs> it's small, lovely. It's what? pronounced small, not smell. <laughs> Look, appa <laughs> apparently there's a, a woman in a, with a smell figure in a brain cell. Wait, what? And her look as a, fir as a first year student. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. Yes, that. <laughs> she is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Natsuki. You can just ignore her when she gets naughty. Did I seriously just imply that Natsuki implied that Natsuki made the cupcakes? Sure! You can just ignore it. You already read it. Yeah, but you were too busy laughing over there, dying of laughter. Burr. Burr. Burr, I'm cold now, apparently. I can't say anything right right now. Oh, I'll warm you up, Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't even know. Okay, I'm trying to implement things that don't work. Okay, anyway. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Don't say anything quietly. Otherwise, they won't hear it. Anyway, this is not skish. Always full of energy. Yeah, I noticed, and I'm afraid because of that. This is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Ah, uh, yeah, I noticed that too. D -d -d Don't say things like that. Yuri is now but not Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Huh. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? 
As sad as that is, it's true. That's right. Okay. Let's do that. Instead, instead of like giving her airhead, just give her a random different accent. Let's do the same tone of voice, just different accents if you can. If not, then just give them the same voice. It's great to see you again, Pink Fox. You don't want to talk quietly. No one can hear that. And I can't keep turning up and down the volume. <laughs> oh gosh, no, no, not that. Uh, that position is a demon. That position is a demon. And now I gotta... Uh... Um, excuse me. Your fiancé is sitting right next to you. No, I know. That's not why I'm giving this expression. I don't know how to feel about this. It's not... Either way around, it's not a good feeling, but I really don't know how to feel about this. <clears throat> Monica smiles sweetly. Okay, you're back, back, Monica. I'm feeling very uncomfortable now. <laughs> oh, that's not making me feel uncomfortable. That actually, for some reason, feels good. She's like rubbing the tips of her finger at, fingers at the edge of my uh, leg. There's the calf, and then what's the other one? I keep forgetting. Your femur. She's rubbing my femur. She pulled the bone out and it's just like... <laughs> you mean your thigh? Actually, that... No, let me do Monica's voice. I like that voice. We don't know each other. Like that kind of thing. No, I'm... it's a cowgirl type thing. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> I can pull it off. I, no, I you think. couldn't. No, I couldn't. But speak louder, damn it! I can pull it off because I'm from the country. Yeah, true. Okay. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Sounds like someone else I know. <laughs> Basically completely out of my league. Again, sounds like someone else I know. I am not completely out of your league. Bullcrap! That is so, the answer having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... He's already made me blush today, so... <laughs> you, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Pink Fox. We made this room for you, especially at the table. So you can sit next to me, or Monica, or me, or Monica. Yeah, you know what? You do Monica and Sai- uh, I'll do all of them. You do Monica and Natsuki. No, I'm gonna do all of them. When you do the other two, you do it way too quietly. That's I the won't. thing. I want to do Sayori and Yuri. No. That voice sounded so demonic. No. Okay, Come no. sit down. Like, see, my, it's probably because my voice has been worked up so much to the point where it can boom on its own. Okay, fine. You can do, sit down, I will do Natsuki and Monica. <coughs> I'll do Natsuki and Monica. We have it set in stone. If she's saying it, it's Natsuki or Monica. If it's me, it's either the main character or... Say this, Ori or this, Yuri. This weird little lady behind our heads and Yuri. <laughs> Come sit down, Pink Fox. We made room for you at the table. Okay, you know what? I'll do her voice. You can't do it. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Uh, oh, get the cupcakes! And now you're talking loud. You need to make up your damn <laughs> mind. I can't keep going back and forth between the two. Okay, here we go. This is Lava Garden. Hey! I made them! I'll get them! Mm. Uh, sorry, just let her get them. <laughs> sorry, I get a little too excited. You no, know, that works. That that level is perfect. That level of sound is perfect. You do them. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. What are we, high preschoolers again? Yes, apparently. <laughs> As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table. Tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? 
Why do I feel like Natsuki would like be the perfect cheerleader ever? <laughs> oh hey, let's go! <laughs> she probably would. She is pretty dang loud. Yeah. Ta da! If that's not proof, then no. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That's perfect. There's, there's the loudness. <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> I'm like, that, that is adorable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. You know you love that. I do. So cute! I think what would work for her better is rather than airhead, just energetic. Don't you think? No, Natsuki's the energetic one. No, Natsuki's the and annoyed one, remember? Yes, but the she's nerdy, also very annoyed one. energetic. That's why she's the airhead one, because she's an idiot. Well, she's a, she's a loud idiot. Let's put it that way. I had no idea you were good at baking, Oski. I got nothing to say to that, apparently. <laughs> well, now you know! Oski <laughs> scares me, and yet we have to help her anyway to get the better end of this story. Just hurry and take one! Jeez, Oski's getting impatient. <laughs> Hey, do you know who else got impatient today? My my older human family member. My older human family. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. You have non-human family members? Yes. Where's this robotic being I have? No, met? I have I have animal family members. Puppies, cats. cats. I know, I know. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Back on camera. It's delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Sayori talks with her mouth full. Here. Mm. Now say it. Delicious. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. That was actually crazy. With her mouth full. And I was already managed did to get really icing did? on her face. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know. Eh. 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 I turned the cupcake around in my fingers. Looking for the best angle to take a bite. There are only two angles, either the top or the bottom. Unless you want to eat the icing first. That's the top. Natsuki is quiet. Oh boy. Natsuki is quiet. Everyone run for the hills! I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yeah, and it's kind of freaky. Made them for you or anything. Okay, my bad, jeez! Huh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe! Okay. <laughs> Don't take offense to this, hun. When I say this, it's just... At the moment kind of thing. But that's kind of cute. <laughs> her just, like, turning her face... Eh. That's adorable. <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you are so much more so, and you know that. Get it better be. Although, sheesh. I have reason for doing that. You'll find out later. That's you. But not for you know you, you dummy! Well, I feel offended. I'm out! <laughs> alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Probably for the better. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? That one I do well, at least. You can't deny that. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, 
Doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. I don't read. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. I can't tell if that's your actual accent or if that's just fake. You've heard my actual accent. I know, but it's so funny. See, there it is. You. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I blame you. I don't mind it. Eh? Yeah, that's salt. It's salted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Why are you giving me such short lines? Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? That was equivalently as loud as the music. Nobody heard that. <laughs> so what made you consider the literature club? There we go. <laughs> In a sense, I'm teasing her over this. I don't know how much that last bit was heard, but still. It is also me teasing her. It's your Um, I was afraid of this question. <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. I wouldn't say embarrassed is the word, Monica. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? If this was actually Monica doing this, I would be very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, glad because it's... you have me. Yeah, that's why I'm saying glad it's you. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. I, I don't think a kiss on the cheek, Monica, <laughs> is going to do very much, so... I'm glad you're not, Monica, for many reasons. You'll find out why later. Is she a demon? I said you'll find out why later. <laughs> I Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. And she gave the position. The position has been given. Where you could see her, her, her undies. Wouldn't surprise me. Anybody goes behind her and the undies will be shown visibly like that, I'm pretty sure. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. I can't stand politics, period. <laughs> yeah, I know. It feels like nothing but arguing around the budget and publicly and how, you know, prepare for events. Okay, bobblehead Bob. I'm. <laughs> First of all, Bob ain't here. Bob's asleep. Thank heavens for that. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it feel special out of it. That's a fair point. That's a good reason to And if to it encourages club. others to get into literature club, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica, you and I both know that's not why you made the literature club. Monica's really a great leader. That went silent for a moment. <laughs> Here, I'm actually, for future, for future installments of this series, there we go. Okay, now you can talk quiet if you need to. Try not to, but still. I toned down the volume because the vol it's the same music, and you guys will probably get annoyed by the music anyway. Let's turn it up a little bit. I'm trying to balance it out. This there we go. There we go. That should be good. Okay, let's go. Here we also nods an agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. As I said, there's a reason. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Well, all right then. Not many people are very interested in pulling, putting out all the effort to start a something brand new. Ain't that the truth. It's pathetic, but it is true. We started something brand new and it turned, in, turned out pretty well. As I said, most people. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. That ain't the case no more. 
Oh, I'll make you read. Oh, I'm saying that if there's not a, if there's a one person who hasn't heard, gotten involved in some kind of literature club at this point, they're living under a rock. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. We got plenty of that where we're from over here. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Okay, true. I'll give you that. I'm confident that we can all grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! I feel like she, for some reason my brain goes she would work the best with the country accent. No. I have no idea why. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. In my opinion, Pink Fox is more likes country accents. And she's a succubus. <laughs> Did you just admit to being a succubus? No, she is. You just said Pink Fox. You're, you're a Pink Fox. We're... Okay. I meant the character ah, Pink Fox, honey. That would be our character. The character we're playing as. I meant... So basically... You're playing as Pink Fox. I'm playing as the other three. You're playing as those... Well, you're voicing these three. The character, the player itself, is Pink Fox. Basically, you just called us a succubus. What the fuck? I don't know I don't know. How, I don't know how to feel about this. No, I meant Monica is a succubus. There you go. That makes more <laughs> sense. Okay, that makes a lot more sense, actually. <laughs> to a frightening degree. Such different girls. All interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Pink Fox, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, Manga! <laughs> Sad thing is, I actually know it says that. Considering how I've how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. See? Call it. Manga! I mutter quietly to myself, half jokingly, but of course. Hi, Natsuki. <laughs> Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. I don't know how I feel about this. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N nothing? N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that that can change. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Well, what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Any anyway, what about you, Yuri? <laughs> well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Okay, I actually... So basically like a D&D &D book. Yeah? If we're talking about actual book comparison, how about Lord of the Rings? True. That describes that perfectly. Or The Hobbit. Same world, but yes. Yeah. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive yeah because you have to come up with literally every area it can be very complex sometimes yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading she seemed so reserved and timid since the moment i walked in but it's obvious by the way her eyes lit light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Shut up, Dan. <laughs> Dan Savato, by the way, um. creator of the game. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Is that what this is, horror? 
Psychological horror, yes. That's why it says what it does at the beginning. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. And this rock is going to stop here because we're at 45 minutes. We've surpassed the time we were going to, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Blind, not blind, your choice. But if you liked this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. I've done a couple, I think like two other visual novels. I think only one of them is still on the channel. I'll have to double check. But if you do want to check out, if this is still two, one of the visual novels, if there's more than one, click the link down there in the train to take you to that destination. Or want to check out the rest of the stops on this ride? Well, there's more than one. Click the link across um, our heads here. Try and take you there. Otherwise, it'll take you to a random video that you might enjoy. Uh, check out the channel for any other content. But in the <clears> meantime, <throat> this train's off to its next destination. Chugga, 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 chugga. Looks like we're heading off to another ride. Bye! Bye.